Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, and we can turn there, amen. Matthew 5 and 7. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all pray for me as I pray for you. Amen. Sure. Goodness and mercy. So follow me. Reading the scripture this morning, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Did your Bible say that? Yeah. Five word of prayer. Come now, Holy Spirit, have us to preach your most holy word. Preach your gospel, Lord. So be saved. Lives will be changed. Yes, Lord. Families will be blessed. Yes. Your holy will will be done here on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Yes. Feed your lambs and yes. feed your sheep alike. But thus saith the Lord. Yes. Father, hear our prayers on this morning, Lord. Yes, and have mercy on us, Lord. Bless your people, Lord. Bless the sheep of your pastor, Lord. We're your children, Lord God. That your holy will be done. Hallelujah. We bind the enemy and loose the blessings of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. All right. Give me honor to God who sent his son, Jesus Christ. To die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. We thank God for the record book that says he hung. He bled. He died. But on the third day, he got up from the grave. And that's the gospel truth. And that's the good news. We want to use as a subject this morning, blessed are the merciful. Amen. So you name the name of blessed are the merciful. And this is Sermon on the Mount, part five. Amen. Blessed are the merciful. Amen. This ex-tax collector and present gospel writer named. Is noting that Jesus' Sermon on the Mount is well organized. The Lord chose these beatitudes very carefully. Jesus wasn't just preaching haphazardly, he was well prepared. There's a definite logical progression in his thoughts if you follow them. They may. Each of these beautiful beatitudes are very well connected. He starts off by saying, I am, you have to be poor in spirit. There's a total say, amen. Realize that I'm like a beggar when looking at God face to face, I realize that all my righteousness is as filthy rags. I am helpless before God. And that connects me with the second beatitude. I got to mourn over my sin. Hallelujah. And once I mourn over my sin, that, that leads me to the third B attitude. I got to be meek. Amen. Yes. I got to submit myself totally yes. to God. Yes. I have power, yes. but it's under control. Amen. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. And after I have seen myself in God's mirror, I 
began to hunger and thirst after God's righteousness. Help me, Holy Ghost. Which is the fourth beatitude. I have to desire God's righteousness. I have seen that I cannot create or produce it, nor can anybody else. I have to hunger and thirst after righteousness that will make me or put me right with God. That will reconcile me back to God and give me a new nature and a new life. And I have seen it in Christ. I have been filled and I have received it as a free gift. I've been born again. I've been changed. I believe. Can I back it up? 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse number 17. The, the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Does your Bible say that? Now I want you to follow me. If I have experienced all of this and have seen all of this, then my attitude help me hold it goes. If I have experienced all these four Beatitudes first, yeah. then my attitude yeah. towards everybody yeah. will be completely changed. Yeah. The way I treat everybody yeah. will be completely changed yeah. because I've been changed. Yeah. The previous four the attitudes spiritually flow into the fifth beatitude. Yes, Let's look at that fifth beatitude. Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 7 again. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain what? Mercy. Mercy. The first four Beatitudes will connect so smoothly with the next four Beatitudes. Take care of a neighbor. There's a connection here. Don't miss it. Hallelujah. Come on with me now. Those who are poor in spirit, the first Beatitude will recognize that they have need of mercy. Yeah, that's right. Therefore, they will show mercy to others. Yeah. That's the fifth beatitude. Can we look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7 again? Are we going somewhere with this? Amen. Yeah. The Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall what? obtain mercy. Now watch it now. Those who mourn the second beatitude over their sins are led to a purity of heart. The sixth beatitude. Can we look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 8? The Bible says blessed of the pure in heart, for they what? Shall see God. You have mourned over your sins. You have confessed your sins. And now you have a pure heart. They're connected together. Watch it now. Those who are power 
under control. Come on. Come on. The meek folks. The third big attitude. Yes, sir. I said meek folks, yeah. not weak folks. Y'all yeah. oh, better come with me here. Yeah. There's quite a difference, hallelujah. The meek folks are always seeking to make peace, which leads to the seventh beatitude. The third beatitude leads you to the seventh beatitude. If you look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 9, the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Does your Bible say that? Take your name. The sermon is connected. Watch it now. And those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, the fourth be attitude are willing to be persecuted for righteousness sake. They know the price of living a righteous life. They know the cost of living a righteous life. They know that it leads to persecution. The eighth beatitude. Somebody said connected. Hallelujah. Help me Holy Ghost. Yeah. You look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 10, the Bible says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for what? For righteousness sake. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Let me put it together for this moment. Those who are poor in spirit mourn over their sin. And after they mourn over their sin, then they submit themselves to God and become meek like a lamb. Then they hunger and thirst for righteousness. And now they got a different attitude about everybody. Well, help me, Holy Ghost. 
Sister Stinson, mercy, first in the screen. Were you able to get that? Oh, you got time, baby. I gave it to her at this moment, baby. Merciful is from the Greek word eleemon, from which we get our words charitable and beneficial. Christ is the perfect example of a merciful person. Christ is the perfect example of a charitable person. Can I back it up? Hebrews chapter 2 and verse number 17. The Bible said, help me Holy Ghost, said, wherefore in all things it behooved him or it was fitting for him to be made like unto his brethren that he might be a what? A merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Does your Bible say that? Jesus made himself like us to identify with us. Somebody said merciful. Can I say that one more time? Jesus made himself like us to identify with us. Can they remember? He made himself like us to identify with us. Sister Sidney, did you have time for the second illustration? Oh, she bad, baby. She got it all right. I just gave that to her, man. She got it all right. Mercy is from the Hebrew word hesed. Sometimes translated mercy or love or loving kindness or steadfast love. Can I bring it down? Mercy is God's character. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, mercy is God's character. Can I back it up? Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24. The Bible says, But let him that glorieth, glorieth in this, that he understandeth. Somebody said, Understandeth. Understandeth and knoweth me that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness and loving kindness in Hebrew is hesed judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things can y'all hear me in these things I delight saith the Lord blessed are the merciful God delights in mercy say they were God delights in mercy that's why he said blessed the merciful. Can I get a little deeper with you? Yes, sir. Of mercy in Hebrew means the ability to get right inside other people until we can see the things with they're going through from their eyes and think things from their mind and feel things with their feelings. Can I get a little bit 
let Jesus mercy is a deliberate identification with someone else. Mercy is a deliberate identification with people. It takes some effort. It takes some pain. It takes some stretching until we can see things as they see things. Until we can feel things like they feel things. We get our word sympathy from this. It's when you go along beside somebody until you go through you better help me this long. Until you go through what they're going through. Until you feel what they're feeling. Until you feel what they're thinking. Until you hurt. Y'all better help me this long. Until you hurt like they're hurt. Help me, Holy Ghost. Can I back it up? Go to Philippians chapter 2 and verse number 7. The Bible says, but made himself. Who y'all think we're talking about? Jesus. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. And was made, y'all don't hear me, and was made, can I go there one more time? And was made in the likeness of me, which means God got in the inside of the skin of man and became like a human being. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. 
Mercy is more than feeling sorry for me. <laughs> Anybody can feel sorry for me. Mercy is pity plus action. Can even neighbor. Mercy is pity plus action. Mercy is pity plus a desire to remove my suffering. Talk to me, somebody. Mercy is the Christian who's concerned about my misery. Then he does something. You better help me. Then to get rid of my misery. Can I break it down? Mercy is action. Tell five neighbors, mercy is action. Passed on by all the 
and when he had begun to reckon that he did, amen, what was brought up to him which owed him 10,000 talents. Cut the helmet, see that's it. Yeah, that's it, that's it, amen. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife, y'all don't hear me, and his children and all that he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him, saying, Lord, oh Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Come on, Christmas. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt to the neighbor. Oh, neighbor. That's what God did for us. To the neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. That's what God did for us. He forgave us. Yeah. 
He is compassionate. What a yes on it. Fail not. Fail on. Y'all don't hear me. Fail on. New every morning. I'm glad that Monday comes. I got new mercy. When Tuesday comes, I got new mercy. See you. 